Turning warmer and more active. I'm meteorologist Show Martucci. We had a very mild morning here across South Jersey. We were about 10 degrees above average from the morning low. And this was actually at midnight here at Lanx the International Airport. Around sunrise, we were in the mid 50s, only warmer here. We will be above our average high, at least at the airport here. Nowhere near our records. 94. How about that in 2002? And sunset, 738 this evening. Now, we are dealing with some coastal flooding. Delaware Bay has seen a little bit of coastal flooding, minor flood stage this morning. We go into the evening high tide. This is going to be the worst of the next two days. Looks to be minor flood stage for everywhere along the shore. So it will be the bay side that floods, not expecting anything on the ocean side. And this is going to be relatively low end here. So just a susceptible spot. So have water on them. Move your cars if you need to, if you're usually in one of those vulnerable spots. We go into Friday here, Long Beach Island, along the bay and Barnegat Light. Looks to have coastal flooding extended to both high tides on Friday, which is the new moon. Otherwise, we are good for the rest of South Jersey. The exception would be the Delaware Bay on Friday evening. Then we go into Friday evening and into Saturday morning here, early Saturday morning. Severe weather is what we're watching out for, mainly in the terms of flooded roads and wind damage. We're going to have a line of storms that come through. It's going to be very similar to what we had on Monday here, where we are watching out for the heavy rain, the damaging winds, and we cannot rule out a tornado. We should be fine, but it cannot rule it out of the realm of possibility. For today, temperatures are going to be mild here despite a good amount of cloud cover we have for today. That's because we have a strong south-southwesterly wind that blows throughout the day. Now, that will keep the shore cooler. Nose only 61 for your high. Southeast slipping to the southwest, south-southwest for most of us between 14 to 22 miles an hour. Then for tonight, extremely mild, about 15 degrees above average. So even though it will be cloudy and a little bit damp, I think it's still good for windows open kind of sleeping weather here southwest wind 14 to 22 miles an hour that goes up as we go on the friday it will be a windy day here across the area 72 on the mainland and with that southwest or south wind that is a sea breeze from much of the shore here should only be in the upper 50s for highs I do think a couple of spots on the shore will probably be in the 60s, though. Morning is dry, but the afternoon we'll see rain and storms. Now, it is not a washout here. Here's your spring planner. I think you have some issues here for your cutting grass, after school sports or gardening. Focus everything in the morning. Paving, you usually need completely dry weather, especially if you're doing it for a couple of days or for a whole day here. So we'll say plan it for another day. Mainland seven day forecast. Again, we have those storms Friday night. Then we go into our weekend. We have Passover. We have Easter. Easter, mostly dry. However, Saturday morning is going to have rain. Then we break for some sunshine, stays windy, looking to break a record maximum low temperature as we go into the day on Saturday. Then for Easter, good amount of clouds, couple of showers. I think more than 50% of your day is going to be dry. And then we stay on the warmer side as we go into next week. Sure, seven day for you. Pretty much the same icons here. We're going to have a nearly stationary front. It's called the quasi stationary front. It's going to hang overhead once. So we get from Tuesday to about Thursday. Could bring shower chances within any time of that period. We're going to stay optimistic for now and say Tuesday is the only shot we have because we have a low pressure system that comes through. We'll be talking more about the coastal flooding, the severe storms, as well as your Passover and Easter forecast on social media, Facebook and Instagram, Joe Mark WX, Twitter at AC Press Martucci or the press of AC.com slash weather.